Out of all the random theories floating around about Supreme Leader Snoke, the craziest one has to be the one where General Leia Organa is Supreme Leader Snoke. But do you want to know what's really crazy? I can tell you why it very well could be true. What's up, YouTube? This is Urban Acolyte TV, and my name is Prince. So before I get any farther into this fan theory, I have to give credit to Mitch, who runs the Dash Star channel, for presenting this theory last week on his channel. I'm going to post a link to Dash's original video in the description section so that you can check out his video and let him know that I sent you over there. I'm going to give you a quick summary of Dash's Leia Snoke conspiracy theory. Now, the first really strange bit of evidence that Dash mentions to support this theory has to do with a picture of Carrie Fisher wearing a dark robe with the writing on it that reads Episode 8 that was posted to Twitter. Now, I'm not sure if Carrie Fisher posted the picture herself or if a fan sent it to her. Apparently, Carrie Fisher immediately removed the picture because it might reveal details on episode eight. Now, the second bit of evidence has to do with someone creating a video where they superimpose Carrie Fisher's face on top of Snoke's face. And it looks like they attempted to morph the faces in Photoshop. And you can see what they did in Dash Star's video on his channel because I'm not gonna repost that. Okay, so the key points that Dash makes are that Leia pushes Han Solo away so that she can train Ben without anyone knowing that she's teaching him about the dark side of the force. Also, to keep the facade going, Dash says that Leia is attempting to play both sides, just like Palpatine did during the Clone Wars. Also, we see that Leia and Snoke are both looking for Luke Skywalker because basically Luke is the only threat left to her ruling the galaxy. Now let's bring Kylo Ren back into the discussion. Recall what Leia says to Han, bring back our son. So Leia sends Han to confront their son, Ben. But on the other side, Snoke is pushing Kylo Ren to face his father. And Dash asks, how come Snoke never mentions anything to Kylo Ren about going after his mother, Leia, as a possible test or an initiation into the dark side? Now as for Snoke's appearance, Dash puts forth this idea that Leia may have confronted Luke 15 years ago with the help of her son and the other students who were turned to follow him. Now, if Leia's face was scarred after confronting Luke in a fight, she could be using dark side magic to conceal her appearance, the same way Palpatine did before becoming the Emperor. It's possible that Luke left due to the shock that he nearly kills his sister and the Knights of Ren destroyed his new Jedi Order. The evidence that Dash gives against the Supreme Leader Leia hypothesis is that it's probably not true because Snoke has a man's build, a man's voice, and he's being played by Andy Serkis, who is a man. So I'm going to admit that this is a pretty out there conspiracy theory. But after I heard it, the gears started to spin and I started to think about how this just might be true. Now, I'm not telling you that I believe Leia is Snoke. I'm only going to give you some additional evidence for this theory and tell you why she could be Snoke. Now, the big question we need to ask from the very beginning is why would Leia pose as Snoke? What does Leia have to gain? The only thing that I can think of is power. Unlimited power! Do you all recall something I said in my video about Supreme Leader Snoke not being Darth Plagueis? In that video, I said that if Anakin was actually the chosen one, then maybe he brings balance to the Force by destroying the Bane Order of Sith and the Jedi Order's philosophies. Now, there were more than a few of you who did not agree with me at all on that point. And the overall consensus seems to be that Anakin succeeded in bringing balance to the Force by destroying the dark side. But if you think about it, Luke was left after Vader and the Emperor die on the second Death Star. Now, is it really balanced when there's still one Jedi left in the galaxy? Now, this is going to require a bit of a leap to follow me. But what if Luke is on the light side of the Force? 
And somehow his twin sister ends up following the dark side of the force. I'm going to admit that I've not followed the Legends canon very much after Disney decided to establish their official canon. But there is a storyline where Han and Leia have twins, Jason and Jaina Solo. One of them becomes a Sith Lord. So I'm going to call back to what Ahsoka says. There's always a bit of truth in Legends. What if instead of the Solo twins, we have a similar situation with the Skywalker twins. Luke goes to the light and Leia goes to the dark. Remember, they're both descended from the Chosen One who brought balance to the Force. But it's possible that his offspring set the cosmic force back into motion. The dark confronts the light and the shadow eclipses the light when Luke goes into hiding. The dark becomes active through deception, brute force, intimidation, and political manipulation. So now we arrive at the big question. What about Supreme Leader Snoke? We have only seen holographic images of Snoke. He could be seven feet tall or he could be three feet tall. He could be completely an illusion. For all we know, there very well could be a woman behind the curtain. Now recall that Dash's only reason against Leia being Snoke is because Snoke is a male. Here's something that is interesting about that whole Snoke is a man thing. See, it turns out that one of the things that slowed down production on The Force Awakens had to do with Supreme Leader Snoke. You see, at first, Snoke was going to be a woman. I actually meant to reveal this as one of the possible reasons that I don't think Snoke could be Darth Plagueis. Now, I'm not telling you to give this any serious attention. I'm just asking you to think about it. How would Leia have learned about the dark side of the Force? What would Leia have to gain from any of this? I mean, when I try to think about it, Leia witnessed everyone she cared about on Alderaan die when the Death Star wiped her planet from existence. Leia was one of the leaders of the Rebellion as an Imperial Senator and later as a Rebel, only to see the New Republic become a bureaucratic nightmare in very much the same way as the Old Republic did in its twilight years. Maybe something in Leia snaps, and she's decided to remake the galaxy in her own image. Maybe she stumbles upon a Sith holocron that teaches her the very same knowledge that Palpatine possessed. The same knowledge that drives Palpatine to seek to use a dark side ritual that he learned from with his master. Darth Plagueis, a ritual that would make him the most powerful dark side user in the universe, a being capable of reshaping the galaxy and living for tens of thousands of years. I'm only presenting a possible motive for Leia to assume a second identity as Supreme Leader Snoke, where she might eventually rule the galaxy with her son as her second in command. And this is all assuming that she doesn't have to sacrifice Ben as part of a dark side ritual that would grant her full access to the power of the dark side of the force. So what do you all think? Could the coming war between the First Order, the Resistance, and possibly the New Republic all be a ruse orchestrated by Leia? Could Leia really be Supreme Leader Snoke? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Hey guys, if you haven't seen them already, be sure to check out this video to my left on Donnie Yen's role in Rogue One. If you are a fan of the Force Unleashed video game, you might really get a kick out of me trying to figure out if Donnie Yen is playing one of the characters who teams up with Starkiller. You can also check out my other video that I just posted about a possible Obi-Wan Kenobi anthology film. I'm going to be working on some other videos dealing with the second half of Star Wars Rebels and the possible appearance of Grand Admiral Thrawn in Season 3 of Rebels. I'll also be working on a video to get you all caught up on the latest news from Rogue One. If this is your first time seeing Urban Acolyte TV, go ahead and subscribe so you can be notified when I get those videos posted. I normally post new Star Wars videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So be sure to check back. Well, that's all I've got for now. Thank you for watching. Remember that I love telling you all about Star Wars so that the Star Wars movies might change your life the same way they've changed my life. Y'all keep on breathing. 
and may the force be with you. Bye.